isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I'm not moving. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the Wall? The Wall was erected over 8,000 years ago to defend what? the realm from wildlings. At this White girl I used to fuck now and, and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diachrome are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? Castle Black, Open Shield. You fuck potatoes. What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the war. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle! Who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Moves up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Gotta be faster. Castle Black. So this is home now. Oh, it's bloody cold up here. Wander off now. Not a frost finger watching. Take that! Take that! Oh. 
Watch your bloody top. You, grab a practice sword. This one should do. Fix them where I tell you. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Well four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Have these were I- ah! Ah! Oh, <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center, between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I can't promise anything. I'm trusting you. Don't let me down. They say it's 700 feet tall and 8,000 years old. It's not ironwood. Too hard to burn.
That's the door to the mess hall. Wish they'd serve up more than stew. Tuttle, I gave you orders. So what are you doing up here? Sir, have you heard of the North Grove? Of course I've heard of it. Just like I've heard of snarks, brumpkins and children of the fucking forest. It's all horse shit. Now if there's nothing else you need... I'm curious. How did you lose your fingers? You're curious, are you? Are you curious what it's like inside an ice cell? No, sir. Didn't think so. I've answered your questions. So why are you still standing here? I want to know when I'll be taking my vows. You arrived yesterday, Tull. Worry about me, not your vows. Sorry, sir. I'll get back to work. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Want some help? yourself, Tuttle. Again. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Carrot. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Daddy, do something. Stop it. Before some... <laughs> I won't say it again. Ah, fuck! Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! There they go again. Knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. 
The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, I... Not another word! You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? I have a lot on my mind lately. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. <sighs> Suit yourself then. So, are you... Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. I have much bigger problems, Sarah. I need to look out for my family. No. 
You're right. I'm sure I would want to look after my family, too. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped swords, You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady, 